Uh, here I'm just going to show a, a bit more with the audio control of the um, ATM um, when being controlled by the GVG control panel um, using um, the audio button as I have explained in a previous video. So first of all I'm just going to open up a Telnet window so that uh, I can show you some of the control features. So it's got one here preset. Uh, here's our Telnet window showing up um, here. I can just go yes for status. Just shows me the status of everything as per normal operation. Um, so there you can see um, all the audio uh, VUs etc which I'll um, show you control of in a moment. So first of all we're going to um, grab uh, tell the audio to go into audio setup mode by hitting the control button the audio control button on the left um, and basically uh, it turns the key the key row into audio controls um, on air and AFV the display uh, turns into um, showing you various functions and of course the joystick controls the uh, volume levels and pan controls again as seen in a separate video um, so uh, when you first go into audio mode uh, it cycles between tells you that what the uh, current controlling um, audio channel is which is shown on the left there uh, and then it'll then tell you um, zero that tells you the um, um, the position of the, the fader and also the position of the panner um, currently, uh, it shows you control 1 to 20, 1 to 16 being audio faders, 17 and 18 being the media players, 19 is the um, external uh, audio input, and of course 20 is the master. So that's basically what this is telling you here. So you can actually uh, hold your finger on the shift button and use the up-down arrows to select a particular channel. So here I'm just going to look at um, the... Um, the master uh, control uh, so you just hold your finger on and tells you what what you're controlling here now when you first go into the um, audio mode it sets up uh, the telnet uh, if it's already on and it shows the VU activity currently for the for the selected channel so there you can see it's showing you <coughs> the um, um, audio that's on uh, the master fader and obviously the colour coding means um, the different varying levels so red obviously is um, anything over minus 10 uh, shows up in red now this same VU um, if you're not using the Telnet is also shown on the uh, pattern buttons the top five buttons is the left channel and the bottom um, buttons are the right channel if the fifth light comes on that means you're you're going over minus 10 so you can normally control the audio levels to show you um, leads flashing on one to four um, now if I change this over to say fader number one and you can see faders one two three and four I've got tone going in at the moment so if I just um, hold my finger on here I can just tell it to go up to fader number one so now you can see that the VU's uh, showing um, a, a specific level um, as can be seen um, there and also as can be seen up here now if I go back to channel number 20 to go back to here and that's the master and I'm just going to um, just go over here and turn off you can control it here turn it off there so you can see the VU uh, has gone to zero and there's no VU activity up there and there's no VU activity down here but if I now go over and tur turn on audio channel 1 you can see the VU activity because we're monitoring channel 1 or sorry we're monitoring the master fader uh, as showing a tone there's channel 1 and that's actually what we're monitoring at the moment and then of course up here you can see there's the tone showing there I'm now going to turn on channel 2 as well so just hold your finger down to turn it on so now you can see channel 1 and channel 2 are both going and they've both got tone going out and as you can see now it's red it's showing it's in the red um, 
and I'm just going to switch this back over to 20 which is our master and as you can see here now we've got all five LEDs on which indicates that we're in the red as you can see in the red and as you can see we're in the red here so now just by turning on the joystick and because we're on channel 20 or the master fader I can now start reducing the audio levels and as you can see they're going down moving over here you see as I turn the joystick uh, vertically it goes up and you can see we're just touching on the red there just under the red there and we go over to the VUs over here and you can see the same thing we just just below the red as I increase it there it goes there and of course um, you can see here so if I'm setting the levels on tone I just drop the joystick down enough to stop the fifth lead can coming on and that's um, basically it if I just go back to <coughs> uh, channel one say so we're now just looking at um, the first channel and as I turn the uh, pan you can see it's panning to the left and then panning to the right and that is shown on here as I turn as I'm panning to the left and of course I'll just put that back to center you'll see the same thing happening up here so that's a, um, uh, a quick way of just setting up uh, your audio levels and just ensuring that they're okay uh, I don't recommend uh, continually operating um, the panel with the audio on because it uses a lot of resources um, but as you can see you can still control it you know in that mode it's just it's really pushing it to the limit uh, there you have it that's um, audio part two